chores and we've learned all about trades. Now it's time to play some games. Hey kids, today we're gonna to talk about some simple games you can play at home. One of the games we're talking about today is called Catch Penny. Now Catch Penny, as the name implies, is pretty simple. All you're trying to do is catch a penny. So a lot of you can probably have a penny at home, but it's not so simple as just, you know, tossing the penny up in the air and catching it. No, 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 we're gonna make it a little more difficult. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold my elbow up like so, and I'm going to set the penny up on top. And what I need to do is I'm going to drop my elbow so the penny starts falling, and I'm going to try to catch it with my right hand right here. So let's give it a shot. Hey, look at that. Got some practice in earlier today. That's the only way I was able to do it. All right. Whoop. All right, let's try that again. Let's try it again. Yay. Yay! See, a little more difficult than it looks. <laughs> but now to make it a little more entertaining, you can do things like uh, time yourself. See how many times you can catch the penny in a certain amount of time. Or maybe try two pennies, you know. Maybe you can, maybe you can get really good and do two at once. Now another game that was quite popular in the 18th century was cup and ball. And as the name implies, I've got my little cup here and I've got a little ball here. I'm trying to get the ball into the cup which is a little easier said than done. Now, if you guys want to play this at home, we have instructions of how to do that in your packet, so go ahead and check that out. For right now, we're going to go ahead and get started. Let's see if I can do it. Oh, look at that, first shot. Oh, there we go. Yay, look at that. Another game that was quite popular for children in the 18th century was hoop and stick. Now the goal here is what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try to roll the uh, hoop down the field and use the stick to keep it going. But i got to keep it balanced. It's a little bit difficult. Once again, instructions how to play this are in your packet if you're interested. But we'll go ahead and let's see if I can do it without tripping. All right, go. All right, let's try that again. A little harder than it looks, right? One more time. Again. Having fun yet? Thank you for joining us on our trip back through time. Remember to come visit us here at Historic Bath.